Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. There is a website called Baby Gears Mate. I had never heard of it before, and probably the reason why is because it's an airsoft website. Uh, they have airsoft reviews, and they talk about airsoft. Why am I telling you this? Who cares? This is a Nerf channel. Well, recently there's been this article on Baby Gears Mate that talks about Nerf, which is interesting because, again, it's an airsoft site, and this is, I think, the only Nerf article on there. And uh, this was sent to me by Tontacles. He sent me a message about this and said, you should review this. And I was like, okay, I'll look into it. I was not prepared for what this article actually was. And if you haven't seen it, you're not prepared either. Out of curiosity, I did read through a couple other articles on this site, and they seem just fine. They talked about Airsoft, which I don't know a whole lot about, so I can't say if there are any specifics that were off, but they seemed well presented, had some nice pictures, seemed well written. I didn't have any faults with them. Reading this article was very different. Immediately, I'm a little curious because this article is called Best Nerf Sniper Rifles 2018, Tested and Reviewed by Expert Anglers. Now for one, I don't know who expert anglers are, so I'm a bit confused there. But two, we're just entering 2018 as I'm recording this, and this was posted in December of 2017. So I don't know if they're referring to blasters that are now out in 2018 that are sniper rifles they recommend, or if they're predicting the future of 2018. Now for most of these articles, if there are some grammar issues here and there, some spelling issues, I'll clean them up a little bit when I'm presenting it to you guys. In this case, I can't do that. One, it will lose most of its charm. This article can only be experienced that way, with all the flaws. They make it perfect. And two, I honestly don't know what this article is trying to say sometimes. So if you're a bit confused, you're correct, because I'm confused too. And with that being said, let's dive right in to Baby Gears Mate's Best Nerf Sniper Rifles 2018. God help us all. Sometimes I feel to be a little bit jealous of kids these days. You know why? Because in 2018, technology has gifted them a handful of toys to stimulate their adrenaline rush. In fact, toys that weren't even in wildest of our imagination then had turned into just a $30 buy. I am talking about Nerf snipers here, which had already become a crazy source of adventure, a combat-like thrill for kids. Couldn't have put it better myself. However, getting out of the jealousy stuff, let's be serious on the topic. In this article today, I've done something important for parents with kid that loves Nerf guns. These toy sniper rifles are a great source of kids finding the adventure streak and fun. But when it comes to selecting one for your kid, most parents fail to pay attention to buying factors that they should. As these toys are going to be a harsh in use, you have to be ultra careful to ensure the best buy for money. What we've done here is, we've picked up the best Nerf Sniper Rifles toys of the market based on its real value, both for kids and parents. Durability, accuracy, design, and of course, the price quality ratio. These was our sole priorities throughout the process. Let's glide through the article and I'm sure you'll find the best product for your kid. And with that being said, set your expectations low. And right off the bat, they give us a top seven best Nerf sniper rifles comparison chart, but we're going to skip that for now and we'll just take them one at a time. Number one, Nerf N-Strike Elite Strong Arm Blaster Review. The wait for the most popular Nerf sniper rifle is over. As the second best topper, we have Nerf N-Strike Elite Strong Arm Blaster for you. As you know, it's from the famous brand Nerf. Surely this power sniper can give your kid almost the same experience as a real pistol. Okay, okay. So right off the bat, that's number one. We just got dropped on number one immediately, and it's a it's a pistol. They've they've said it's a power sniper and a pistol in the same sentence. Highlighted features. The barrel that loads the darts is really cool. All you need to do is pushing the button. It will pop out immediately. A good virtue of a good Nerf sniper rifle is its design. The design itself is a bigger and better than couple of earlier releases from the brand Hasbro. The color scheme of the body is almost in line. Ooh, almost in line. Nice try, Nerf, but baby gears, mate, they see right through your paint jobs. Not good enough. If your kid has enormous love for the Mavericks, it can surely pass hours playing only with the barrel, because this Nerf gun strongly resembles it. And there you go, it's a Maverick. To grab the handle is made pretty easy, even for toddlers. The firm-shaped handle, gripped 
cover and the priming action had turned it into a Nerf gun with much comfort and use. Lastly, the manufacturer Hasbro had done a great job with the functionalities, whatever that means. Pros. The use is pretty simple in action. Doesn't jam at all. Mmm, I've had strong arm jamming issues before. Just depends on the darts you use. Real-time Maverick modeling. Yes, we, we know. Can dart accurately till 50 feet. One dart per second shooting speed. I don't know about that. I think you can fire it a little bit faster in slam fire mode. A good price. Okay, sure. Cons, not accurate darting in longer distances. And again, that's your dart itself. Elites, yes, will veer off immediately. That's what you get for using elites. Number two, Nerf and Strike Elite Centurion Blaster Review. Another product from Nerf. Another piece of best Nerf assault rifle. Mm. The Nerf and Strike Elite Centurion Blaster is a AK-47 resembling blaster. As thus, series contains a number of production from the company. This one is an earlier version. But still, if your baby is in love with long-ranged bullet game, this is for him. T mm, wait, 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 blah, blah, blah. No. Just no. <laughs> Sni best snipers of the future. Wait a minute. The, the strong arm... The strong arm isn't even 2017. The Centurion is not 2017. They just said that this is an AK-47 resembling blaster, and this is probably the closest sniper rifle you've got on the list. It, you, ooh, okay. We're, we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on. Highlighted features: an AK-47 look. Nope, nope. We're not moving. We're not moving on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why? AK-47 look. Not a Centurion. Why? How? Help. An AK-47 look-alike that gives your kid the thrill of a real battlefield. It's tested for both durability and quality. Centurion Blaster is a long-range blaster toy with almost 100 feet accuracy with darts. No, it's not. It just claims 100 foot ranges. The darts are made to whistle as they fly. The taste of real battlefield is made more realistic with that. Okay, stop saying real battlefield. A removable bipod stand provides strength and accuracy for you kid to enjoy the shooting. Sure. Pros. Longest accuracy of all blasters of the series. No, again, it just claims the furthest distance, not accuracy. Bigger darts to fire further. Nope, that's not claimed either. The dart set contains six mega whistling darts. It does. Best blaster toy for kids of more than six years old. I don't know about that because I think the Mega Line is actually meant for older kids. I think that's what the box says, but I'd have to check. Removable bipod stand. Correct. Cons. It's not for toddlers. I mean, I guess that's a con. Color scheme isn't that much cool. You know what, whatever. It's got a lot of red. I, I'm over it. Next. Number three. Nerf and Strike Modulus ECS-10 Blaster Review. After a long awaiting day, the Modulus ECS-10 series was launched in fall 2015. Trust me or not, I choose not to, it gained such a popularity in a short span of time that it ended in an entire series of blaster guns. Our next pick is the Nerf and Strike Modulus ECS-10 blaster and we're already happy with the rich set of features that it provides. Hope you'll be too. The Modulus, when it first came out, was meant to launch other blasters. This wasn't just a super successful blaster that therefore got more after it. I'm sure they had plans to release more. Highlighted features. The first pick of the series that contains an enhanced viewfinder for plus-sized excuse me, and perfect shooting. It's ultra flexible comparing to any blasters of this price range. The Nerf and Strike Modulus ECS-10 blaster can be arranged in more than 30 position combinations. Also, the ECS-10 has got a strong and stable drop grip to handle. So no matter how uneven the ground is, you will have perfect and precise shooting every time. Why is that there? Want to do the battles for a longer time? The ECS-10 has got a 10 dart banana clip. So far, we are concerned, it's one of the largest dart clip among blasters of such price range. I think there are some other magazines that are out there that are a little bit bigger than 10, but I might be remembering that wrong. The device itself is a battery powered shooter, so it's way stringer and has got longer shooting range than the manual ones. 
Being a battery-operated flywheel blaster does not mean it will automatically get better ranges than a Springer. But that's going to be too much to explain to this site, so we'll drop that. Pros. Enhanced efficiency with a targeting scope. Sounds great. It's got a dual rail barrel. Perfect. Can be holed with ease and comfort. I don't know. I've held the modulus before, and that is definitely one of the least comfortable grips. A rigid and robust constriction. <laughs> constriction. Yes. Powered by AA batteries. Sure, that can be a pro. For some people, that can be a con, though. Cons. The dart is prone to bending. I think usually this comes down to the dart itself, mostly, not the blaster. Some blasters, yes, can be more prone to jamming, but with flywheels, I think usually it's the dart. Maybe I'm wrong, but let's just move on. Number four, Nerf N-Strike Elite Rapid Strike CS18 Blaster Review. The Rapid Strike CS18 is one highly engineered Nerf N-Strike series blaster, which created too much hype <laughs> just when it came to the market for the first time. The successor of its vast popularity is the few more amazing upgrades have made it its place in the list. Let's head into the detailed review. Yeah, so here we are. We're, um, we're at number four, and we're at a fully automatic rapid strike on the list of top snipers of 2018. That's... I, you know what? I see nothing wrong with this. No, not so... Also, the rapid strike was overhyped when it first hit the market. Highlighted features. From the manufacturer of Hasbro, no, hang on, the manufacturer of Hasbro, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. it's been one of the coolest design ever. You just said it was overhyped. Make up your mind, baby gears, mate. In addition, a number of technicalities had added its value. The dart clip is capable to contain 18 darts at a time and is transparent in design. So, you can look up and the existing number of darts and reload immediately. The ergonomics of the Blaster CS18 had been done in a spectacular way. Kids can use the second hand to hold the foregrip and the main hand to do all the triggering works. Once again, you're saying this was done in a spectacular way. However, this blaster was uh, overhyped. The material and plastics is, so far, one of the best material combination from the manufacturer Hasbro. Again, nope, never mind. Continue. Two modes firing pattern had been installed by default. One is the single shot and another is burst fires. No matter whatever your kid does, it will be an ultimate source of thrill. No, remember the rapid strike. If you hold down the trigger, it's fully automatic. If you just click it once, then you might be able to get one shot off. There is no burst fire. Don't listen to this article. Pros, 68 feet per second dart speed. Safe with materials and plastic. The clip can hold up to 18 darts. See through transparent dart clips. The motor power can be accelerated manually. Accelerated manually? What does that mean? No? Wrong? A good performer in terms of both quality and durability. Cons. The packaging of it could have been done better. Oh, snap. Maybe that's what they meant by this was overhyped. It was just the packaging. You know, that box that the rapid strike comes in. Not good enough. Could have been better. In auto mode, the range is only 60 feet. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, just because it gets about 70 feet per second doesn't mean it's going to go 70 feet. Number five, Nerf N-Strike Elite Longshot CS6 review. Nerf N-Strike Elite Longshot CS6 is another release of Ling ranged blaster guns, which has some petty similarities with the Nerf Zombie Strike Longshot CS12 of the same series but there are some spectacular unique features of this pick. And the reason to pick up this product in the list is to show them up. Long shots are still used heavily today. I've actually seen them all across the world being used to this day, and they're more powerful than ever, honestly. It just depends on the darts you're using, um, the, but there are a lot of kits you can put into it too. Long shots are still quite impressive. So yeah, I'm okay with this. I know they're including it for a different reason, but. Just cover your ears. First thing first, Nerf N-Strike Elite Longshot CS6 is just the alternative of a real sniper rifle. Is it? The alternative? So you're saying that... Yeah, that's what you're saying. Okay, that's a very bold claim. This sniper blaster had good a supreme power of long-range shot with accuracy. Not with the darts included, though, or without any mods. The functionalities are all engineered in a way that happened never before. 
We loved the maneuvered that the manufacturers had put it in. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to say it's wrong. The design was another shiny feature that you'd fall in love with. The elite blue color, white straps, and orange and dark gray accents will be a completely new look comparing to its other versions. I will say the elite long shot looks pretty good. The bipod, which was basically provided to stand it stable, can be folded too. And for me, I like it to use when it's folded up. Pros, the stock is adjustable. Yes, it is. A scope comes in for precise targeting. Yes, but I would not rely on that. The clip can be reloaded fast. Yes, because it's only six darts. Bolt action loading. For some people, that is good. For some, not. Stunning design and color scheme. Cons, there are only six darts on the clip. Yes, because again, this is a reshell, and the six dart magazine was the very first to come out when the long shot first came out. So, that's just what they've done. Number six, Nerf and Strike Elite Retaliator Blaster Review. Eventually, we're at the last product of the best Nerf Sniper Rifles review. At the end, we have Nerf and Strike Elite Retaliator Blaster. To be frank, we literally wanted this product to be put with a less ranking beside it. But due to some drawbacks, we had to keep it here. However, let's see what good features are in it. Wow, that's harsh. Also, I don't think this is the last blaster, so I'm surprisingly confused by what they mean. Highlighted features. Two of the most amazing feature of this blaster is the magnificent design and perfect dart range. This power-packed edition of best Nerf sniper rifles is definitely worth the money. No, again, you, you did it again. You, you said that this thing was garbage. You did not want it on this list, and then you said that its design was magnificent, and it has perfect dart range. Perfect dart range. Uh, explain, please? A barrel extension is with the design to ensure maximum realistic look of the blaster itself. A removable shoulder look takes your kid to be more like a real war hero. A removable shoulder? and it'll make you look like a real war hero. You know what, no. I'm not, I'm not staying for this. Three tactical rails and a single attachment strap have definitely added to the value of the Nerf and Strike Elite Retaliator Blaster. Because of the perfect weight distribution throughout the body of the gun, it will be a complete fun to hold it for your kids. Once again, a claim of something is perfect on this blaster. I don't know if the Retaliator is the perfect weight distribution, but that's what they say. Also, it'll be fun then to hold for your kids. They can't hold it, only you can. Only you get to feel that perfect weight distribution. Adults only. Pros. Can be stood on four different configurations. Yes. A dart range of 90 feet. Um, sometimes. A stability handle for more control on shots. 12 dart reloadable clip. Comes in stunning white and blue color stripes. A handful of accessories available. Cons is quite jam prone. Sometimes, again, darts, but we've sung that song enough. The insider chamber is damage prone. Damage prone? The price is quite overrated. It's perfect for its value. Perfect weight distribution. Real war hero. Overrated price. Oh, oh it hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's one more. Oh, please no. Number seven, Nerf and Strike Elite Sonic Ice Centurion Review. No, no, you can't do that. The Centurion is already on this list. Wait a minute. The winner of our week-long research on best Nerf sniper rifles is the Nerf and Strike Elite Sonic Ice Centurion. It's a blue and transparent of the earlier release of the Centurion version from the manufacturer. It actually belongs to the Sonic Ice subseries of Nerf rifles toys. No doubt that this is the best production till date, as per its massive popularity and extreme durability. Ugh. I'm dreaming. I have to be dreaming. This is, they can't, they, no. No. I, mm, this is the winner, too. It says, the winner of our week-long research. I haven't been clicking on those links before because it keeps taking me to the most recent article in Baby Gears Mate, which talks about Airsoft. But when you click on this link, do you know what it takes you to? Do you know? It takes you to that. This article referenced WikiHow's How to Be a Nerf Sniper. That's right. Massive popularity and extreme durability. A quick show of hands, when was the Centurion massively popular? 
Oh, that's right, highlighted features. The Nerf N-Strike Sonic Ice Centurion had worked out a lot to get rid of the internal jams and improvements on features, and no doubt that it's been done more than our expectation. No, it has not. The Centurion was not updated in the Sonic Ice version. It is the exact same Centurion that you hated when first came out. With Nerf N-Strike, you can turn any playground into an ice-cold battlefield. <laughs> oh man, they got me with the pun. Well done. It can launch long-reigned assault with its howling mega darts provided. It is true, they do howl, and for some people, they hate that, for some people, they like it. The loading and reloading has been made easier. The press clip release button is designed to make sure that the bolt is forward. Also, it helps to remove empty clips. Again, this is the exact same blaster that first came out, just with a different shell color. Nothing has been updated. Do not listen to these lies. An elite dirt... <laughs> An elite dirt color scheme had been introducing in the new package of Ice Centurion. I want an elite dirt color scheme. Doesn't require external powers. Therefore, comes in an extremely affordable price comparing to the wide array of features it offers. Wrong. The Centurion is like 60 bucks. That's not cheap. I thrifted one for five. I would consider that okay, but not 60. This blaster, no, actually, this blaster is more. The Sonic Ice one, I think, is more because it's like a Toys R Us exclusive. Pros. Comes with a longer ranged blaster. Includes six mega darts that fits in the mega clip. The darts of Mega Whistler screams through the air. A bipod stand supports the firearm. More, <laughs> it's back, precise and accurate battle arm. Battle arm? I'm gonna stop asking questions. Cons, the assembly can't be done by children themselves. You know, I disagree. The Centurion comes in like only two pieces, right? The back and then like the barrel. All you have to do is put the barrel in and you're, you're done, right? What assembly is that? Bottom line, thanks for being with us till the very end of the best Nerf sniper rifles reviews and guide. As most of the kids these days love their blaster gun as a pursuit of their own heroism, we parents should assist that. And to make your job easy, we've brought up the most realistic features of these products. Hope you've already prepared your buying shortlist and looking forward to get a cool one for your junior. Well, how was it? That was the top seven, I guess. It was seven uh, top Nerf sniper rifles of 2018. None of them are even close to 2018. There was a repeat. There was a fully automatic rapid strike. The Centurion is an AK-47. Oh, look, there's a review at the bottom. User rating. There's only one vote. One star. I agree. If you do find an article, something like this, that just spreads some interesting Nerf knowledge that you think I might like reviewing, feel free to send it to me in an email at beret.nerf at gmail.com. Who knows? Maybe I'll talk about it in the future and I'll die a little bit again, just like the WikiHow articles. If you do find one of those that you think is interesting, feel free to send it to me at that email. I have seen most of them though, so just keep that in mind. I do have a small list of ones I would like to talk about. So if you find more stuff like this, things that aren't on my radar, that would be awesome because I don't see everything on the internet all the time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the future. <laughs>